Now you're ready to record, you want to create a track. So you move your mouse up here to track and hit new. And because we were recording an audio track from that microphone in the studio there, as you can see by, uh, between the symbol and the tom, we are going to be recording a condenser microphone. So we want one mono audio track as the um, we want to take a audio in as a mono format and we want it in samples. So we hit create. Now what you might notice is this is grayed out. This is because the routing has changed and I need to reset this output to the one I handily renamed use this for Mac output. So now if I record something onto here and play it back, it will be controlled by 1516. But only once you have turned on these two lights here, digital return. You need these turned on as they take in, in uh, the audio from the computer. If you were if you were wanting to send do send it back to the computer, you would hit these two lights here to send it back. But you don't want to do this at the same time as you could create feedback issues. The first thing you want to do when you go uh, to record a track is you want to rename it, as this makes it much easier when you get to the late, latter stages, especially if you've got um, audio files sitting in a folder. They'll actually be called the correct name rather than having to scour through loads of things that just say audio one or audio two. I'm gonna rename this condenser on acoustic. So as you can see, we have this um, Rode NT2A microphone here, which is a condensed microphone, plugged in to input one. Now that everything's plugged in correctly in the studio, what you wanna do is make sure that the input in Pro Tools is set to the correct input accordingly to the studio. So in this case, we've got plugged into input one in the studio, and so we want Pro Tools to be taken in from input one on the desk. Once you have set the input on Pro Tools correctly, you want to set the level of the microphone on the desk. So the microphone we've got plugged in in the studio is a condenser microphone, and this requires phantom power. Now phantom power resides up here marked as 48 volts and we want to turn on phantom power for channel 1 so I'm going to press that in and now that mic is receiving phantom power. The next job you want to do is turn on this button here called PFL which is pre-fader level or pre-fader listen, both terms are interchangeable. If I turn this on I can now adjust the gain and over here on these LR bars you'll start to see a signal leveling on here. You can see that as I turn up the gain on the channel 1, the strength of the signal gets stronger and stronger. And as you can see, this signal here is fairly healthy. It's all green, there's no clipping. But the thing you want to do as well is make sure that it's not clipping within Pro Tools. And as you can see in Pro Tools, the level is, is peaking at about 15, which is absolutely fine. There's no, ch that's not likely to clip at any point. I am able to hear the microphone right now because I have this track arm to record and I've got it sending to the output which is on 1516. If this track was not record uh, arm to record, I would no longer be able to hear the, the track. If I wanted to hear the track without it on arm record, if it is, as long as it's plugged in the studio, I turn on this button here which sends channel 1 to the main left right output. I'd turn the fader up and I'd be able to hear it again. Okay, so we have our track arm to record in Pro Tools. It sets the correct input. Phantom power is turned on. We've set the gain accordingly. And we are basically ready to go with recording. So when we're ready to do that, we'll hit free on the new player keypad. So let's go talk to Sam in the studio. Sam, are you ready to record? Yep. Right, I'll count down from three for you so you know when we're going to record. So you can see we are getting a signal. It's not too strong a signal, but it gives us plenty of headroom. And you can see the Pro Tools is taking in the waveform over there. So that's enough of that. We'll hit stop uh, spacebar to stop it. Thank you, Sam. That'll do. So as you can see, we have recorded our signal into Pro Tools.